Hello there. Today, I will be sharing my 10 little known facts about the Disney parks. If this is your first time visiting Disney Parks Addict, we like to make videos about all the Disney parks around the world. So if that is something you may be interested in, then be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all my future content. Let's get straight into fact number one. Fake Main Street Names Most people know that the names on the windows of the buildings on Main Street USA are of important people in Disney history. But did you know that when Walt Disney was buying up the land for Walt Disney World, he used a variety of fake names to buy the land for a cheaper price, rather than revealing who he was and realtors inflating the price. Eventually, he was found out and had to buy the land at the higher price. But some of those fake names can still be found on the windows on Main Street USA today. Wildlife in Paris You may know about the group of cats that roam Disneyland at night or the ever so popular Disney Ducks in the Magic Kingdom. But did you know there is a department at Disneyland Paris called Wildlife? whose job is to deal with the many animals that run wild in the park. For instance, the park is home to many wild rabbits. Hundreds are caught and released each year. And once, employees even stumbled across a fox hiding inside the Peter Pan attraction. So while you are visiting Disneyland Paris, you may just come across different types of animals other than the popular mouse. The Threads of Presidents the patriotic show, The Hall of Presidents, can be found in the Magic Kingdom and features audio animatronics of all the American presidents from the past and present. To nail every detail, Disney designers scoured history books for information on period textiles, tailoring, jewelry, shoes, and hairstyles. Did you know that every figure within the show has a change of clothes? And for the newer presidents, they may even be wearing the actual clothes from their counterparts. Bill Clinton even supplied a wristwatch to capture his likeness. Although each president has a change of clothes, it's still not as many as the 250 various costumes that are in Mickey's closet. First date or last? You may want to rethink taking a date to Disneyland. This myth is believed throughout Japan, with many people genuinely terrified to take their significant other on a date to Tokyo Disneyland. The urban legend states that it only relates to couples going to Disneyland for their first date, which might mean there's an absolute logical description for the myth. You spend hours on end waiting in lines with nothing else to do apart from talking awkwardly with each other, only to find out that person you've only met a handful of times isn't actually who you thought they were. Maybe save your trip to Tokyo Disneyland for the second date. Splash Mountain Traffic Jam With the announcement of the retheming of Splash Mountain to a Princess and the Frog attraction, these next few years will be your last chance to ride it in its current form. Let me ask you, what has been your greatest idea while in a traffic jam? According to Disney legend, Disney Imagineer Tony Baxter came up with the idea for the fun, fast Splash Mountain while in traffic on the way to work, which just adds to the amazing career that he has had. Tony Baxter will also be coming out of retirement to help with the redesign of this great attraction. And did you know that the big drop at Disneyland's version of Splash Mountain is two feet longer than the one at Magic Kingdom? So if you want to have a little extra fun, then head to California. Recorded Screams of Terror The Tower of Terror is one of the most thrilling rides at Walt Disney World. Unfortunately, the screams you're hearing on the ride and around the park aren't real. Sure, some of them are, but to induce an even more terror-filled allure, the majority of what you hear has been pre-recorded. So, the next time you head to Disney's Hollywood Studios, keep an ear out for those canned screams. George of the Caribbean It's a Disney myth that an Imagineer named George died in the construction of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at the Magic Kingdom sometime in the 1970s, and it is believed that he still haunts the ride to this day. 
the cast members say goodnight George at closing each night as a superstition to prevent any ride closures the next day. It is also known that if a guest speaks his name three times while riding the attraction, it will break down. So if you have a friend or relative named George, try calling him by another name while on this ride. Sticking with the Pirates theme, did you know that the newest Pirates of the Caribbean battle for the sunken treasure at Shanghai Disneyland, a bottle of water from each of the existing Pirates rides from around the world were added for good luck. Bathroom Doors Walt Disney World has one of the most advanced security systems in the world, and this was no different in the construction of the Animal Kingdom. It is the only park to have doors with locks on all its bathrooms. This is due to security. In an emergency event that animals get loose and run rampant around the park, guests are able to hide in the bathrooms with the doors closed and locked. Fortunately, this scenario has never had to be used, but it's nice to know that this is available if it were ever to happen. Korean squid or popcorn? There are a variety of famous snacks at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Maybe your favorite is the Disneyland churros or the humongous turkey leg in the Magic Kingdom. Unfortunately, these snacks didn't prove popular in the Asian Disney parks. Due to local tastes, other snacks have emerged to become crowd favorites. At Hong Kong Disneyland, instead of Dole Whip, you can try dried Korean squid, which has become so popular they often sell out early in the day. Or at Tokyo Disneyland, instead of regular popcorn, you can try one of the many different flavors like soy sauce, strawberry, chocolate, or honey. Along with the popcorn are the very popular popcorn buckets, a huge selection of some amazing designs. Be sure to grab one when you can. And now our final fact, Tree of Life. You may think I will be talking about the amazing Tree of Life over at the Animal Kingdom, but as many know, this is actually one of the artificial trees within Walt Disney World. I actually want to talk about the real Tree of Life, the Liberty Tree. This is the featured centerpiece of Magic Kingdom's Liberty Square. Over 500 trees around Walt Disney World started as acorns from the Liberty Oak. So, the next time someone mentions the Tree of Life at Disney World, make sure you clarify which one. So that's my 10 facts about the Disney parks around the world. What's your favorite little known facts about a Disney park? If you enjoyed the video and want to see another 10 facts, let me know by liking, commenting, or subscribing below. Thanks for watching.